Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today I will be drawing a goat. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to use the Sharpie first and I'm also going to color it with the color pencils. And if you are new to my channel and haven't been here already, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day and along the way while I draw I will give you some fun facts from spca.bc.ca for today because I found some really uh, great fun facts about goats on that website so that's why um, I'm choosing that website but I'm not sponsored by it or anything and if you want to send me a request for me to draw for next time please let me know by comment in below or you can connect with me through Facebook or Instagram all the information is in the description box below for you so connect with me through those media as well so to give you some fun facts um, fainting goats well fainting goats have become an internet phenomenon however this breed of goats uh, they are called mitonic doesn't actually faint due to a genetic mutation when they are frightened their muscles freeze up causing them to fall over while they remain totally conscious and their muscles quickly return back to normal so people should avoid purposely frightening goats it's a shame that people do that and um, legend goes that coffee was discovered after a goat herder in Ethiopia noticed that his goats became energized and wouldn't sleep at night after they were spotted eating berries from a particular tree. After sharing his discovery, drinks began to be made with these mysterious berries and the knowledge of these energizing beings spread across the world. Wow, I didn't know this before. It's pretty cool. So if you know some fun facts that you would like to share, please let me know by commenting below. So going back to the drawing, you can see now the face is starting to take shape. So I will draw the pupil of the eye soon. Now it kind of looks like a ghost goat uh, because I didn't draw the eyes properly yet. But I will do that soon enough. And I will also show you how to color it as well. And I'm adding in a little bit of fur for this drawing so that it looks a little more realistic. So I hope you like it. And um, let's see how it turns out. And to give you some more fun facts, a female goat is a doe or nanny. And a male goat is called a buck or billy. Baby goats are called kids. And when a female goat gives birth, it is called kidding. Within minutes of being born, kids are standing and taking their first steps. And there is a picture on this website of these kids. They are so furry looking, they actually kind of look like bunnies. It's very um, fluffy looking. Um, goats are picky eaters, unlike in fairy tales. Real goats won't eat just any old thing. Goats are not grazers. They are referred to as borrowers or foragers. They have a very strong and sensitive upper lip that helps them sort through the vegetation and pick what they like. I didn't know that either because I thought goats eat anything and everything even paper so goats are social animals though goats are very social animals and live in groups called herds and they are happiest when provided with social interactions with other goats animals and humans so goats can even tell a happy human from an unhappy human and they prefer to spend time with happy people so they are even able to watch a person solve a problem and copy the person to access a food reward hmm, like monkeys so it seems like they're really smart and goats 
have a rectangular pupil. This shape allows them to have a wider field of vision than humans and other animals that have circular pupils. I believe sheep has um, sheep have um, the same thing, the rectangular pupil. If I'm not, or yeah, um, if I'm not mistaken, um, they can see 320 to 340 degrees around them without having to move. So the ability to see everything around them except for what is directly behind them is very useful in avoiding predators. However, goats have to move their head if they want to look up or down due to the rectangular pupil shape. And there's a picture of that too on this website. Very clear picture, a close up of a goat face. So you can really see how rectangle pupil looks like. And we are soon to draw it on our drawing as well. Um, it still looks uh, hollow, but I will add that soon enough. And goats communicate with each other through vocalization called bleating. The sound of those um, calls is what allows goats to identify individuals that recognize emotional states. Each baby goat. So baby goats are called kids. So each kid has a distinct call and that helps its mother recognize it. Interesting, right? And despite popular belief, both male and female goats have uh, beards. So both male and female goats also sometimes have uh, wattles that's bits of skin that dangles from their head to neck. No one is sure why they have them. But one thing is for sure. Waddles is fun to say. It is fun to say. And um, there is a picture of that too. Actually, I have never seen a goat with these. And I have not seen, um, seen many goats. So probably that's why. Um, but I have not seen a wattle, a goat with a wattle, or maybe I haven't looked. But there's a picture here. This goat seems to have a very clear uh, dangling piece around the neck area. If you want to check it, please do. There are really nice pictures on this website. It is spca.bc.ca for fun facts about goats. So goats do not have front teeth in their upper jaw. So instead they have a strong hard dental pad that helps them break down the food. And they are extremely agile. So as all domestic breeds of goats are descendants from mountain goats, making them excellent climbers with great balance. Mountain goats can jump up to 12 feet and 3.5 meters in a single bound. Some goats have also been observed climbing trees. I've seen mountain goats in uh, Jasper. Um, that's near Banff and it's a very pretty area and all these um, goats and animals roam around even on the uh, road. It's a very pretty sight to see. It's a really, really pretty area to go to. By the way, it's in Canada. So, um, there are a few fun facts about goats here. Um, and really, really cool uh, pictures, like photos of them. So you can check it out here um, and apparently there are over 200 different breeds of goats. Um, so it says here with so many different breeds sizes, uh, sizes vary greatly. One of the smallest breeds of goat, the Nigerian dwarf goat, reaches weights of only to 75 pounds where the Nubian um, goat can reach 
weights up to 250 pounds. Wow, a big difference there. 75 pounds to 250 pounds. And well, there are 200 different species, so probably that's why. Breeds, different breeds. Some goats are fluffy, a specific breeding of goat, the Angora goat is known for its soft curly hair called mohair. Ear size also varies between different goat breeds. So some goats have long floppy ears like the Nubian or Boa goats whereas the Lamanca goats have very small ears. And there are three different goats uh, goat pictures on this explaining that and very clearly represented. It's a very well organized, clear pictures on this website. I really like uh, how they presented this. And um, so those are the fun facts. So going back to the drawing, you can see now I added in the pupils and also I'm using brown color, but you can use white, um, light brown, black, um, and darker brown, or even spotty goats are there. So you can use those colors. Um, it's really up to you when it comes to coloring. That's why I just wanted to show you really quickly how it all looks and how I'm coloring it. So you can do the same. And um, even if you don't want to color it, even if you want to leave it as is with the Sharpie, um, like the sketch, um, it'll still look nice. And I really hope you like this one and uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you want to connect with me. Like I said before, you can use uh, my Instagram and Facebook information in the description box below. And without further ado, I'm going to show you how the full color drawing looks like. So this is the full color drawing. I really hope you like it and if you do like it, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you would like to buy products with this on, don't forget to check out my Redbubble shop link in the description box below. I have so many products in there. You can buy stickers, phone covers, even t-shirts. So check it out. And now I'm going to put some next videos for you to enjoy next, including a playlist. So I hope you like those as well. And don't forget to click on my face logo right there to subscribe to my channel. I bring a video every single day to you. And you can request anything that you want me to draw as well. And I hope you have a great day today. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.